clock organ here at Mechanics Hall uh, was installed in about 1864, and that was at uh, probably foreshadowing the industrial, if I can call it, revolution of innovation here in Worcester. And Mechanics Hall served as sort of the hotbed uh, central uh, area where people met and exchanged ideas. And so the hook organ was perfect for that because it represented the innovation of uh, the most complex machine really at that time, even though it's a musical instrument, it, uh, behind the music is uh, a machine. The pipes are in, in their own little chambers uh, in sections, depending on which manual or pedal they're on. But the whole chamber back here is probably um, 20 by 30 feet by three stories high for the pipes, and then there's the basement area where some of the mechanism and the blower and the bellows are. The air can't go through it if the holes aren't aligned, but as soon as you pull this and align the holes, then the air can go go to the pipe and that turns on that rank of pipes. In the old days you'd have two yeah. men up here? Yes, so they'd be here pulling this all the way up and down. It's feeling its age by the groaning. Every pipe organ is unique uh, in that it, it's, it's designed for the room it goes into. But this one is uh, very unique, not only because of its age and that it's uh, the only uh, four manual instrument in the Western Hemisphere that's extant in, the, um, in its original condition in the public concert hall, but it has a character of its own and you can program it by turning on and off stops and uh, pressing a little pedal lever and that pulls out all the stops at once and you play with ten fingers and you can come out with a glorious sound that's uh, almost equivalent to a full orchestra.